Hello folks, I'm back again with another video. Um, I'm still going to show you how to paint another eye. I'm going to do a dragon eye. And I want to share this story with you. Uh, when I was in college, back in the early 90s, I had a friend of mine who told me about an art show in uh, San Jose State University. It was called Four From Before. And it was four artists that were alumni of San Jose State University. And so he got some tickets for me, a really good friend, and uh, I bought this book there, The Art of Michael Whelan. But this is not the book I originally bought. The original book I let a friend borrow, and I never saw it again. So I bought this one on eBay. But um, I went down there, and they had original artwork. And Michael Whelan was there. And I knew nothing of him, and I even heard of him. Um, mind you, I was like uh, 20, I think, or 19 years old. And um, trying to flip the pages here with one arm, one hand. And uh, he had probably like four or five originals. And I was just blown away by his um, his artwork. And let me turn to one of the let me find one of the paintings that he had there in person. This one is that I remember the most. This, he had the original of this painting there. And what I could not forget were the eyes. Look at those eyes. It was just beautiful work. And I was like, wow, that's amazing stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to make... Um, some eyes that look like that. Pretty looking eyes. But they'll be dragon eyes. So just like the other video, I'm going to start with the shape of an eye. I'm using a permanent violet again. Watered down a little bit. And I'll make some sort of eyeball that could be used um, or a dragon. Oops. So I'm gonna just sketch this out and paint. I'm gonna sketch the, uh, the outside of the eye. And maybe the upper part. And the brow would be over here. So maybe these are scales. It's actually fun sketching in the paint. Scales there. We have some smaller scales here. We'll have some even smaller ones here. I'm just going to put some, some dashes. Now these scales are probably a little bigger. Up here. That's good enough for the eye area. Now we can... Uh, Give him a slit so we can give the dragon some like cat slits. Like that. Now the reason I'm doing a wash over this is because I want the paint to be transparent or translucent so I can see the uh, detail that I put up earlier. So I'm gonna go I'm using Canyon Red Deep some water. I'm going to go to the cadmium orange. Going straight into red. I'm 
Now we're gonna, I'm going to paint the uh, inside of the eye. Cadmium green is sort of transparent already. Imagine, like, I'm done. There's my dragon eye. Isn't that beautiful? No, it's not. You have to make it beautiful. Okay, I'm going to darken the eye on the top. And I'm going to use the same cadmium green, except I'm going to add remnant violet to it. In order to make something pop, you got to make it dark first, then put some light colors on top of that. Like I'm going to paint the glare, that would look really cool. I'm going to paint the iris now. So now I'm mixing uh, ultramarine burnt sienna. Now I think I'm going to put the light green in the middle of the eye and have it go dark. On the iris, I could put a yellow line, like it's going straight to cadmium yellow. And let's see what that looks like. Now I'm going to let this dry because I have to, because it's still too wet. I'm going to go ahead and paint the yellow. I'm going to go with yellow and green and get a yellowish green color to put here. And I'm going to need to go into green. I'm going to go to um, permanent violet and canyon green. Go back to green. I'm going to go straight to yellow. I'm going to go to um, a little darker green than that one I was just using. Now I'm going to work on the right the corners there. So I'm mixing cadmium red, permanent violet to darken the red. Let's see how this comes out. Not bad. Good go with that. And don't be afraid to go fast like that. Don't don't, don't do this. Don't go. It's just not needed. The, the quicker you do things, the more expressive it looks. So this is really popping out the details now. And here I'm just going to make some little dashes like I did before. Nothing goes to waste. I mean the original sketch I put up there is still there. A green wash of cadmium green and some water.
We go straight to cadmium red. This is cadmium red deep. It's not as bright as uh, cadmium red. It's more on the dull side. So I'm just painting these scales in. Now I'm going to go into orange. Because the eye has a thickness to live. You don't want to use white for the highlights for this. I mean, if you feel like it's too much detail, it's too much darkness, you can go over that and make it less. All these lines in between, you can go with red. Go straight into the cabin in red. Make that less, less dark. And if you feel like you want to see more of a highlight on those, I'll show you how to do that on the scales. When you do that, what happens is it makes the darkers darker. Because you're putting a lighter color than what you already have. And then maybe too much, but let's do it anyways. I'm going to put a highlight on these scales. That's the only way to do it is to actually put it on there and find out if you like it. If you don't like that, just go over it again with orange or red and just tone that down. Go back to cadmium orange. I'm going to go, goodbye. If you didn't like that, it was just too distracting. Fighting with the eye. Fun little test to do. And I can go with red. And we lost, there's a little bit of green in there, but not much. So we'll put some green, and I'm gonna put it in the dark areas. If you want the color balance, put the, the green in the dark areas. Carry some of that green into your shadows. It's the secret sauce, guys. This is the secret sauce of painting and color balancing. And I give it to you for free. No charge. I want you to learn. I want you to be a good painter. And do the stuff that the pros do. You might not even learn this in college. Probably wouldn't even teach you that. I had a great teacher in college, so I learned a lot from her. It was a junior college, by the way. It wasn't, it was no university or anything. I'm poor, I can't afford that stuff. But I lucked out, she was a great teacher. She was a great artist. She's passed away now, but I'll never forget her. And again, you can tone this down you can always go back and say, you know, it's too, it's too dark, whatever, I don't like it. You can go back and make it lighter. Like, let's say, like, the top part. Let's do that now. Because I feel like they're not. Now we're going to get to the fun part. We're putting the highlight on 
the eye. I'm going to go with straight to white. I'm going to put two, two highlights, one on each, either side of that iris. I'm going to put one here. It's going to follow the curve. Put one over here. I have to darken the eye to make it pop some more. Maybe. Can we have green and permanent violet? And over here, we could put some orange because it's reflect, the air reflects the colors around it. If this was a human eye and you had eyelashes up here, you would put eyelashes in here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And you put your highlight on there. And what you do now is you come in here. You do that. You see? It gives the effect of the the eyelash. Uh, because the, it would reflect the eyelash. Of course, this is a dragon. It doesn't have eyelashes. But if it did, it would look like that. Well, thanks for watching this video. See you soon.